you were a host on Agro's Cartoon Connection for a number of years. So, I mean, going back to that project, do you remember what kind of, you know, some of the highs were, some of the lows on that? Yeah, so for those that don't know, that's that was um, the number one kids show in Australia. I think it might have broadcast to other countries. Um, but, yes, it was basically like a bath mat, <laughs> like a puppet, and very funny, lots of double entendres, and so the sort of the adults enjoyed watching it as much as the kids, just for the joke factor. It was quite humorous. And I guess the best part for me, I was so young when I when I joined. I think I was 15 when I got the job. I started working on the show when I was 16, um, and they sort of handed over all this, uh, like not uh, I guess creative control. So I would have to write all my own stories. I get, got to select what I would do um, and then I would go out and shoot them, come back, sit in on the edit and, you know, pick the music. Like just, you know, for a young girl, it was a lot. It was a lot to learn but awesome. And I think the highs of that were, you know, I got to pick, I could go skydiving, I could go, you know, flying in a jet I could just pick, you know, boot scooting or, you know, sometimes they would say we want you to focus on this story or, you know, this is coming up, let's do something about Easter or whatever it might be. But for the most part I had free reign. And so my husband's got a bit of a joke when we go to do something now. He goes, oh, wait, wait, have you already done it on Agros? You know, because I feel like I got to do so much stuff. So, yeah, that would be a high. Um, I guess another high would be I'm still good friends. You know, I kind of forged some really lovely friendships from that time. So that's, yeah, another pro. You know, I'm still in contact with them. Yeah, so it's really nice. 